What's up y'all, it's your boy here, and today we're going over five bizarre and cool arc mods that are going to drastically increase the immersion and craziness of your experience. Seriously, you gotta give these mods a try. Without further ado, bro, let's get into it. At number five on the list, we have Shiny Dinos by Nev Cariel and Strange Child. This mod, bro, is gonna add all types of shiny, all types of new color variations for dinos into your game with all of them actually being vanilla with some of them having different abilities but still sticking to the traditional arc feel these creatures will have a very rare chance to spawn they will be uh usually about higher level a, a little bit than uh, regular creatures in your game and they will all possess abilities that you can either use or be a challenge for you in your battle bro what are you gonna do you're gonna fight them you're gonna tame them i feel like most y'all you might tame them especially with some of them being like one of a kind bro you got to try this mod shiny dinos is kind of crazy i'm gonna try it you see i'm subscribed to it bro some of these creatures even have a chance to spawn as their aberrant or genesis uh counterparts so bro you might even see a freaking <laughs> bro just try the mod that's all i gotta say no spoilers try it bro seriously it'll change your life at number four we have Pyria mythos evolved by dooms dahlia and shadlos Bro, you gotta try this mod, bro. Seriously, if you're looking for a fantasy experience in Ark, whole new fantasy world, I don't know, Final Fantasy joint, bro, you gotta try this mod. Seriously, this mod is gonna be basically uh, engineered and balanced for the vanilla game. So overhaul mods like Primal Fear, uh, Anunnaki, all them other crazy mods, they're not gonna work that well with this. So go ahead and stick to vanilla, no ice cream. You know what I mean? This mod includes an immersive list of all the different races, categories, and subcategories of all the different creatures that will spawn in this mod. Bro, I'm telling you, that already with vanilla arc, it's a recipe for disaster. It's a recipe for litness, bro. You gotta try it, seriously. What you gonna do in there, bro? Turn your arc into an RPG. You gotta do it, bro, seriously. Just try it out for me, you know? You got it, bro. At number three, we have Pokeballs Dino Stores by Alexi. Bro, if you're looking for an interesting, bizarre experience in Ark, you gotta try the Pokeballs mod, bro. Now, obviously, this mod is gonna turn Ark very similar to the Pokemon universe, as close as you can come without downloading that mod that literally turns all the dinos into Pokemon. Yeah, I know you know what I'm talking about. This mod, bro, you gotta battle, you gotta weaken creatures, and most, uh, optimally knock them out in order for these pokeballs to actually have a good chance at knocking them out or uh, taming them unless that is you're lazy and you know spawn in a bunch of master balls then you know i mean if you do that bro you got it bro on to the next at number two we have human npcs by zone killer this mod will add human npcs into your arc that will start off as wild and can even be tamed and assimilated into your culture sounds crazy doesn't it but anyways this mod bro will allow you to make your own tribes in single player or multiplayer too i don't know how it works too much just kidding i've tried before but this is a modern version you know what i mean NPCs will be holding different tools and weapons that will actually correlate to whatever resources, meat, or whatever that they're actually useful in gathering. So, hey, if you see somebody holding a spear, bro, most likely they're going to be a spear fisherman. Go ahead and tame them up into your tribe and get them working right away. Get them fish dinners going, you know what I mean? You don't need chicken dinners. It's even said that wild human NPCs will grow plant species X seeds to protect themselves against thieves, dinos, or even people who just want to kill them for fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about you, bro. Yeah. At number one, we have Rare Sightings by Artosi. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jake, this mod looks just like number five on this list. Well, what if I told you that everything that's used in this mod, just like the other one, is completely vanilla, which means if you remove your game, everything that you've tamed while this mod is active will remain yours forever. There is one thing that I have to admit with this mod. I literally cannot believe that everything in this mod is vanilla, bro. There are some creatures that even have physical alterations and powers and different looks, colors, and all these things, but still manage to be vanilla. Bro, chocolate Rex, silver uh, Giga, uh, Dodo with uh, elk horns, what? To add even more elements, events, and surprise to your arc, I highly, highly recommend trying one of these mods. If you don't get this one, you gotta get number five on the list, bro. Seriously, I'm already, you seen I already subscribing to him, bro. I gotta get this one on next. Don't worry about it, I'm gonna get it, bro. I'm gonna try these bro seriously you gotta try them bro and that's a wrap if i still know how to count that's five we checked out five bizarre mods bro seriously i recommend trying each of these i'm really particularly interested in trying the uh rare sightings mod i think they'd actually go really well in my current mod list that i'm playing right now so uh if you enjoyed this video 
please feel free to leave a like subscribe go ahead and join that community bro links to the discord twitch everything we be doing is down below in the description music all that go ahead and check that out i love y'all bro and i'll catch y'all in the next video you know I got bars, and they numerous like stars. About to do my thing, get bread, and maybe draw some flashy cars. You know who I am? I'm your boy Jake, and I'm not fake, but I don't know how much more y'all haters can take. Listen, I ain't done. I love to shake and bake, and then I freaking hit them with the frying pan. You know I'm the man.